Hey you guys, so it's officially day four of Vlogmas, and today you all will be cooking with me. And on top of cooking with me, I wanted to, I wanted something sweet after my meal, but I didn't necessarily want like a dessert dessert, if that makes sense. Like I wanted a dessert drink. So, what we're going to be cooking today, we're going to make some spaghetti. I'm going to show y'all how I make my spaghetti because everybody don't make spaghetti the same. I make my spaghetti special, okay? My spaghetti is made different. Well, not really, but it's just made really, really country. And we're going to make hot chocolate from scratch. And we're also going to be adding Bailey's cream liquor. And we're going to try out Cardi B's new whip shots. So I'm very excited for that. I've been trying to get my hands on Cardi B's whip shots. I just didn't know where to buy it from. But luckily, the liquor store right down the street from my house have it in vanilla and mocha. So I'm gonna go through, cop a can of the vanilla and all that good stuff. So before we start cooking, I have to go pick up my groceries from Kroger's. I was gonna go early this morning grocery shop, but your girl just got caught up doing other stuff. So I have Kroger's pickup. They weren't able to have my groceries ready until eight, between a time of eight and nine, which is kind of late, but I guess it's all good. So I'm getting ready to leave the house now to go get that. Then I'm gonna go to the liquor store to pick up the whip shots and the Bailey's Irish cream. And then what else we gotta do after that? Oh, I gotta run to CVS because at Kroger's, for some reason, they are sold out of unsweetened cocoa powder. And I need this to make the hot chocolate. So, fingers crossed that we can find it at CVS. If not CVS, then I'll just run to Walmart. And then I also forgot to put spaghetti sauce on my Kroger's pickup. So, yeah. So we're gonna make those stops, we're gonna come back to the house, and then we're gonna cook our dinner and our dessert holiday drink. Okay guys, so unfortunately, CVS did not have unsweetened cocoa powder. Which is a bummer because CVS is right by my house and Walmart's on the other side of town. But I am determined to make this drink. I really, really wanna make this drink because I wanna make it for my friends and see how they like it. And plus, I just think it's a cool little holiday drink. You know, homemade hot chocolate with Bailey's Irish cream with Cardi B's whip shot. So, we're gonna go to Wally World and we're gonna hope, we're gonna hope and pray that the unsweetened cocoa powder is there. So I'm gonna let y'all know what we come up with, all right? Cause if not, we're just gonna have to do with those. Okay guys, I'm not even gonna cap. I was a little bit grumpy earlier in the video. For one, because I'm hungry. And I did not wanna eat out today. I wanted a home cooked meal. And I thought by me doing grocery pickup that they would have availability around 5 p.m., 6 p.m. But no, the availability wasn't until between the hours of eight and nine. You know, I already done told y'all that spill. So I was cranky because I was hungry. But I pulled up to my cousin house and she had a lamb shop and I ate on a little lamb shop so I'm feeling a little bit better. But another reason why I'm super lit right now. Okay, let me tell y'all. I was dreading going to Walmart. Any excuse I can find not to go to Walmart <laughs> the lines be long, you guys. It be so many people in Walmart just so many people in there and I just was not trying to physically walk inside Walmart so I was like instead of me just jumping the gun and going straight to Walmart let me just go to Kroger's first and just see if the groceries are ready and I only see if the groceries are ready I need to go inside Kroger's anyway to get spaghetti sauce because I forgot to put that on my list as I already mentioned so I was like let me just pull up and walk in there and see if they got it but as I was on my way to Kroger's I saw a Walgreens and I thought to myself, self, Walgreens may just have unsweetened cocoa powder. They just may. So I parked, I went inside and guess what y'all? <laughs> they got the unsweetened cocoa powder. So I don't have to go to Walmart. I just gotta get my groceries, run in, get the spaghetti sauce and then we can go to the house and we can get started with cooking. All right, cause I mean that lamb shop is it, holding me up for right now, but your girl is hangry for real so i'm about to go see if the groceries are ready and then we can go ahead and get started with cooking i'm so excited Whew, you guys so bringing up my groceries up three flights of stairs almost took your girl out i'm not even gonna lie I'm not even gonna cap it out it almost took me out i had to switch and put on a big t-shirt my hair flying all over the place but we ain't gonna even worry about that that's neither here or there but 
we got the food, we got all the ingredients to make dinner and to make our dessert drink. So I have laid everything out. That way it can just be a quick, fast, easy process. But you know how I was telling y'all that my spaghetti is special? Like, I feel like my spaghetti is really special. I have all the ingredients laid out and I'm gonna show y'all what I put into my spaghetti and why I feel like my spaghetti is special. So, and then let me know in the comments if you make spaghetti the same way that I make spaghetti. Because when I had brought some spaghetti to school for my students and they tasted it, they thought it was weird that I make my spaghetti sweet. That's my little special touch. I make sweet spaghetti. Oops. I make sweet spaghetti. Like, I do not like for my spaghetti to taste like super tomato-y unless it's from an authentic Italian restaurant. So, yeah. Let me show y'all how I make my spaghetti. So, for start toss, we're going to get the Angus beef chunk. I always get lean because I don't like a lot of fat in my meat. I cut up my veggies, so I cut up one bell pepper and a white onion. Sometimes I use a yellow onion. It really just depends on what mood I'm in. Then we got our angel hair pasta. These are all the seasonings that I use for my meat. So we got black pepper, garlic powder, Goya all-purpose seasoning, garlic salt, onion powder, and nature seasoning. And like I told y'all, what what is my special little kick is adding sugar and also ketchup so i add sugar and ketchup to my spaghetti and i don't know why call me childish call me weird but the only spaghetti sauce that i will ever use is ragu <laughs> traditional sauce i don't know why but i don't like progresso or any of that other stuff this is the only sauce that i will use so yeah so i'm really not in the mood to eat garlic bread tonight I really am trying to diet, although I'm eating pasta. <laughs> but I'm trying to cut back on the bad stuff that I eat, and I'm not really in the mood to eat bread tonight. I don't need no garlic bread. I just want meat and noodles and my little dessert drink, which I will be making that after I finish cooking dinner. But um, right now, I'm pretty much gonna cut up the vegetables, get everything started. So this probably will be a time lapse. So yeah, keep watching how I make my special spaghetti. And that's spaghetti. <laughs> Keep watching how I make my special spaghetti. And then afterwards, I'll show y'all how I will make my homemade hot cocoa with Bailey's Irish Cream and Cardi B Whip Shots. <laughs> finished cooking my spaghetti and I am starving like we're gonna go ahead and dive in I put some parmesan on top of this thing mm. Mm. it's good y'all it's real good I'm not used to cooking and vlogging like this was my first cooking vlog and it's really harder than what I thought it would be, but. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. It's real good. 
I was so focused on recording, I had forgot to add the seasoning to the meat. So I had to add the seasoning after I had already mixed the sauce in it, but it turned out fine. It's still busting. I guess I could show y'all. Hold on one second. So yes. You hear that? I like these thin noodles. And I don't like like when it's just a sauce thing, just lay it on raw noodles. Like I like to mix it in, but this is good. So I'm gonna finish eating. And then after I finish eating, I'm going to make my dessert drink. So wait for that to come. Cause your girl is hungry. I can't um cook this and then eat it later and then make the drink now. So I'm finna eat. Mm. And then I'll show y'all dessert drink. I'll be back. Okay guys, so we have made it to the finale. And my lighting sucks over here on this side of the kitchen. Let me see, can I fix y'all? And then now I can see. Okay, we just want to thug it out, but my lighting sucks on this side of the kitchen. But anywho, we're gonna go ahead and make our homemade hot chocolate Bailey's Irish cream infused top with vanilla whip shots. Now I'm so happy I got this. Like I would I did not think I was gonna be able to find this, but I did. So let's go ahead and get this thing popping. So the recipe says that it needs to be on medium to low heat because you don't want the you don't want the milk to boil necessarily. You just want it to kind of, you know, simmer. So it calls for two cups of oat milk and this is the oat milk that I use. This oat milk is so good. It's really good, you guys. I've been out the cow real bad for a while now. And what's crazy is that I used to drink whole milk after every single meal. No cap, after every single meal. Honestly, you know, I said two cups, but really this recipe calls for two servings. I'm only gonna have one glass of this, so I'm just going to cut everything in half because I don't want it to go to waste. I don't want to waste liquor, oat milk. I don't want to waste this up. It's too expensive. So, yes. So, instead of two tablespoons of, of our natural unsweetened cocoa powder, Y'all see that? I'm just gonna do one tablespoon. Grab that from here, get this open up. Okay. So we're gonna add one tablespoon of cocoa powder mix. And I'm not gonna whisk it with the spoon because that's what I bought a whisk before. Okay, and then we gonna get, let me, well, you know what, I don't feel like walking away from the camera. So we're just gonna get a whole nother spoon. But then we need one tablespoon of sugar. So we're gonna drop that in. And then we need like one or two drops of vanilla extract. And this is the, hold on, let me get the focus in. Can y'all see that? It's not focusing. Okay, so I kept trying to make this focus, but it's the Madagascar vanilla extract and it's just the Simply Truth organic version. So I'm just gonna add probably just like, it's say one to two. So if I half in that, that would be like one but I'll probably just do, I'll probably just do like one and a half little drop, a little spill. Yeah, just a little spill. So as it's getting hot, you guys, we'll take a little whisk. And just whisk that thing on the, get all the clumps, and just whisk it on it.
And I'm happy I only did like the measurements for one because I'm adding the um, baby's Irish cream, which if y'all never heard of this, this bus. This is so good for holiday drinks. I would always take shots of buttery nipples in college and it would have baby's Irish cream in there. So. And next, I'm trying to get all the hunks out. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, guys, so this is coming together rather smoothly. I like. Okay, guys, so I have switched sides of the kitchen. I'm just going to pour my hot chocolate into here because I don't want it to. I don't want it to spill over. So we have our little cup. Y'all remember this cup? I told y'all I was gonna use it. So. Okay. We pour it. And honestly, double the recipe that I just told y'all. Because looking at my cup, it's only, if you can see, like it only filled it to right there. So it could have used a little bit more, but it's okay because we're gonna, we finna add the liquor food. We finna add the liquor food, so. There you go. So we're gonna add some Bailey's cream. Pour, pour at your leisure, okay? I like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna pour, you know, a good little amount up in there. But then what happens to my spoon? Oh, okay. I just said the sink, so. Give that a little stir. And then we have the whipped cream. I heard this is so strong, y'all. I heard this is so strong, and I want to try it like this. Let's see. Get nothing come out. Come on. Mmm. It's good. Ooh, it's strong, too. Did I get a dysfunctional? Okay, whatever. I'm like coming out with a dysfunctional. That'd be okay. And then we got our sprinkles. And we throw on top. And I had got some straws. So I got a yellow straw. I wanted to find a cute gold straw, but just the work. And voila, we have made the drink, you guys. Let's take a look at it. Y'all see it, it's so cute. I mean, the bread station could have been a little bit better, but I like it. I like it. Let's give it a taste. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, y'all, it's strong. It's strong. Yeah, this gonna get you lit. So, I'm about to sit down because your girl is tired, like my candles, watch some TV, and we accomplished y'all. We accomplished getting the groceries. We, we accomplished cooking dinner. We accomplished making the drink. So, yeah, your girl about to lay, lay it all down because your girl is beat. So, as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. So, until next time, mwah.